Hello from a very cloudy and grey Kaluga. I always get many questions about the cost of life in Russia, so since this is a very provincial part of Russia that I'm in today, I thought it would be interesting to show you all the different ways you can spend 15 pounds here in Kaluga. My day actually started in Moscow and that means that I have to mention as the first expense for today in Kaluga the cost of the train ride which was around six pounds that wasn't much especially considering that the train was clean quite fast and comfortable it took around three hours to cover the distance between Moscow and Kaluga which is the capital of the region with the same name but now let's have a look at how we can spend some money in Kaluga proper Okay, so apparently I almost got to the main street here in Kaluga, which is Ulitsa Kirova, Kirov Street, right the top one. And since it's really cold and I'm really hungry, I'd say it's time to kill two birds with one stone and go and spend some money in a cafe. So I just found this cafe on Kirov Street. It's called Dielav Sosier, which means uh, business in the sauce. Promising name although a bit weird also on the top there it says Kustaya Cafe which means delicious cafe let's go inside and see how delicious and how expensive this one is so this cafe is really cool and they have this option of the business lunch which is really popular in Russia um, during the week usually between 11 and 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon you have the option to spend very little for a lot of food so I'll go for that one you see here business lunch I can either go for two portions and pay 220 or for three and pay 290 I guess I'll go for a soup some chicken and some potatoes sounds just about right okay so my food has arrived and I got my she proper Russian soup I got my chicken right here and unfortunately with potatoes the ukrop came which is this um, Russian spice dill which I absolutely hate so I had to get some pasta instead of the potatoes but yeah no big deal also got my glass of water the waitress asked uh, um, if I wanted any other drinks since she, she was saying that it's uh, of course included in the business lunch and I was like uh, no no I just I, I want water because I drink water and that's pretty much it uh, I'm also getting some bread with my soup so she is this traditional Russian soup with cabbage and mushrooms really delicious although I do prefer borscht Well, that was a nice lunch, wasn't it? Oh, uh, actually, although I got um, three meals because I had the soup, the chicken, and the pasta, I was charged only 220 rubles. So I think I was given a discount of 70 rubles for some reason, which is slightly less than a pound. So uh, all is good. Now let's hit the street back again. I'm now back on Kirov Street and although I did tell you that this city Kaluga is a bit provincial and is definitely not touristy at all, heck I'm probably the first tourist to come to Kaluga in a while, especially from abroad, I still need something and I still need to spend my money on something that is going to mark my visit to this city. And this shop right here, Souvenir, seems just perfect for me. What I need is a souvenir. So let's go inside. So I managed to get my hands on this nice little magnet right here. Of course, you know I have my collection of statues, but whenever I cannot buy a statue, I always buy magnets and I'm, I'll probably find a way to make it stand. It has this nice base, 
so should be fairly easy and for this I spent the exact amount of a hundred rubles which amounts to around one pound so yeah about my souvenir for the day Well, this part of Kaluga that I made it to just now seems to be pretty interesting. Looks like some sort of Christmas market. The holidays, of course, are approaching very fast. And uh, yeah, sounds like a nice place to spend some money at. Let's see what we can find. Or I can just end up at the Burger King right in the middle of the square. Okay, so the lunch that I just had was pretty good, filling and pretty cheap as well. But I think I still have some room for a small cheeseburger. Also, it will be interesting for me to see and find out how much is Burger King here in Russia, especially here in Kaluga. Okay, so another half a pound for this. I believe by the time I need to go back to Moscow, I might have not even been able to spend these 15 pounds. I still have, what, five left? However interesting it might be, I don't want to make this video solely about how to spend money here in Kaluga. Indeed, I want to talk briefly about its history. You know the souvenir that I bought earlier on? Well, I finally got to that monument that the souvenir is about. You see this rocket right here? And the statue over there is of the, probably the most notable person that was born and grew up in Kaluga, Tsiolkovsky, which is regarded as one of the most popular and most important Soviet space engineers. So most of the successes that the Soviet Union had in its history during the Cold War, during the Space War, were thanks to Tsiolkovsky, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, who was born right here in Kaluga. Although I don't know the exact date because we know that he was born in the 19th century, but we don't know the decade. But at least we know that he died in 1935. Now, thankfully, the temperature has risen by a couple of degrees compared to this morning, but I still think it's time for me to get a nice hot cup of coffee. Small cappuccino, 130 rubles. <laughs> wow, I have no idea why, but before coming out of this shopping mall, I felt the urge to buy these Christmas socks that you saw. I'll probably give it as a present to someone. But anyway, this cost me 200 rubles. I'm now edging ever closer to my goal for the day of spending 15 pounds here in Kaluga. I think I only um, have the money left for the taxi to take me back to the station to catch the train back to Moscow. But that's not for another couple of hours. So that allows me to explore further the city of Kaluga. Guys, I believe I made a terrible mistake early on when I showed you the statue of Tsiolkovsky with the rocket. That wasn't what I bought for my souvenir right here for my magnet statue. Indeed, instead it was this one. This is indeed the main monument and the main landmark of Kaluga. The globe right here 
with the obelisk dedicated indeed to Yuri Gagarin. Now, although again I told you that Kaluga is definitely not known for its touristy side, there is one special tourist attraction which is, guess what, free. This is Lenin Square and right in front of me, guess what? The Lenin statue of Kaluga, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. And in this version you see him with his arms stretched out like that. Okay, so it's getting dark and it's getting colder and that means that it's time for me to call this video a wrap and to wrap it up properly I need to spend my last pound and the way I'll do so is by booking my taxi to the train station it's going to take around 10 minutes and it's going to cost me a little over one pound so let's do this Zakazat and uh, yeah, I'll just stand here and wait for my taxi to come. Right, so I just spent my 15th pound for the day for the taxi. And now I'm back at this station, exactly where I was five or six hours ago this morning. So my journey in Kaluga ends here. It was fun. I'm now going back to Moscow as a broke guy with no money because I spent it all here in Kaluga. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did um, shooting it. So if you did, please consider dropping me one of these. A thumb up and please consider subscribing. For me, I'll just see you in the next one. Cheers, thank you, bye.